Um, well, this event started for me. I was walking through the park one day, as the musical song begins, and I bumped into Sir Tom Shabir, who runs the Prince's Charities. And for those that are unfamiliar, it should be pointed out that they are enormous and very widespread. The Prince's Trust, for instance, is one of the biggest, well, it is, without question, the biggest charity that helps young people anywhere on earth. Um, so he, he's a very well-organized fellow, Tom. And when I bumped into him, he was talking about the idea that the Prince had had of starting to have some sort of a festival that would celebrate green ideas in a fun way, uh, not in a hectoring or a sort of a annoying do goody way. And, um, and so he said to me, what? So Tom said to me, what would you do? So I said, I don't know, all I can think about is playing the piano. So he said, that's it. The ultimate low carbon instrument, the piano. I thought, oh, great. Everybody, when they get their electricity bill or something, imagines they're being fleeced and thinks, how can I get this down? It's all about that sort of thing. It's about a lot of uh, stimulating thought. A lot of the thoughts aren't particularly new. They're the sort of thing your nan would have said to you about, instead of buying some fancy new fashion wear, why don't you try your granddad's jacket on? And it turned out that was the most fashionable thing you could have. It's about reusing, and the word I heard today, upcycling, which is rather good. In other words, increasing something old value by using it carefully, you know. Um, and also having fun, you know, sort of just stimulating thought and having fun, you know. Sharing baths is, is a particular thing I'm keen on. And um, I'm going to be looking around here today selecting people to share bars with. So the whole day is going to be really enjoyable, I think. Well, I'm Lucy Stiegel. I'm a journalist and a writer, and I um, am helping to curate some of the ethical fashion that's, that's in this event. Uh, I'm particularly focusing on upcycling, which is recycling's fashionable cousin. Absolutely amazing that the, the, we're allowed in here and that we can use these resources and just focus people's attention, and that's what Prince Charles has really helped helped us to do. Uh, we've been kind of banging on about upcycling for, for years, <laughs> and so have all the designers I work with, and these are designers with really, really good pedigree. We're doing a live event on Saturday, and they're all going to come on stage, and you know the general public will recognize a lot of people. And this gives us a focus. It brings it all together, um, and it, it, it shows, if you have a real interest in sustainability, it goes much further than just carbon emissions, or it's about looking at the whole picture and that includes creativity and design. Uh, I'm Alan Titchmarsh and I've been asked if I'll be, I've been sort of a horticultural curator. This makes me sound like someone in, in charge of a rather dusty old museum. Uh, but it's just encouraging people to make a difference by what they grow and by the food that they eat. Um, and and to, to, to reconnect them in a way with gardening, with growing in the great outdoors. Instead of all the don'ts and the stops and this and the other, it's something that's been dear to my heart. It's, it's so off-putting to say, do do this, start doing that. And the fact that it doesn't have to be onerous, it can be pleasurable, you can make a difference to your life, save yourself a bit of money and actually enjoy doing it. Even if it's just eating vegetables and fruits in season, you then have the pleasure of anticipation. Instead of saying, I want some cherries in January and they come all the way from Africa, you know, you don't really want to do that. And if you can put a jacket on or a, um, a jumper on in winter instead of turning the central eating up, and you can save yourself a few hundred pounds, we'll do it, won't we? Our parents used to. It's a case of learning from them sometimes and remembering and reminding ourselves of the things that we've forgotten because we've sort of become a throwaway society. I think the public are great supporters of the Prince of Wales um, and, and great sympathisers with his movement to try and make us more aware, to try and do things. He gets a lot of flack from the press about what's he doing interfering, you know. What would you rather he did? Sat back on his putative throne and just, you know, drank champagne? Nonsense. He's a man who works harder than anybody I know, getting stuck in, trying to make a difference. And I think that's really laudable. And he gets folk like me to say, come, will you come and give us that? Of course I'll help you. You know, of course we'll try and make a difference. He's passionate about the environment, but not just about whinging about it, but trying to make a positive difference. And that's what this Start Enterprise aims to do. I hope they'll take away inspiration. They'll think, I could do that. You know, I could do that without adjusting my lifestyle too much. We don't want to make people return to the years of austerity and have a miserable life. That's not what it's about. We want people to think, I could do that. It wouldn't make any difference to the way I operate. I'd feel better because I was being more quiet, I was putting water bottles under my downpipe by the shed. You get great rainwater to water your plants down with, which is actually better for plants than tap water because it's, it's got fewer, you know, chemicals and things in it. Little things like that, putting muck into your ground, mulching it, conserving moisture, not wasting water on the lawn, which will come back after a shower, but using it on new things you put in that will need it to survive. Just being sensible, and you'll feel this great sense of achievement, not that, oh, I'm having a miserable time, austerity Britain. 
It's not about that at all. It's about doing the right things, using your resources, marshalling them where they're needed. And what can people expect if they come to you to the party? I think the simple thing is to be enthused by how easy it is to take a small step, that's what we're saying, small step, just take a small step which you enjoy, and that maybe the place which we could get to in a decade's time might be a better place than where we are now, because recycling, consuming but consuming wisely, growing things, building economically, sensibly, can save you money, it can be fun, and it might make the whole planet more sustainable. In fact, it will make the whole planet more sustainable.